Hello everyone and welcome to part 1 of product animation in Blender tutorial. In this part we're going to be modeling the yogurt container. So without any further delay let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be doing in this tutorial series. Now the first thing we're going to do right now is to clean our 3D viewport. Select everything and hit delete. Then switch to the front view by pressing 1 on the notepad. That's right there. Now let's navigate to the location of our reference image. Let's pick it up and place it in our 3D viewport. Now let me go ahead and check my screencast keys from here. You do not need to check it because uh, it's not in your interface. So uh, what it does is that it allows you to see the precise keys I'm hitting on my keyboard. All right. Every single click I make will be shown right here. Right now you can see left mouse button. If I press the left mouse button, it will show here that I click the left mouse button. So that's gonna save us a lot of time because I can't mention every key I press all the time. The screencast key will assist you in seeing every key. So the first thing we're going to do right now is to reset the proportion of the reference image in the viewport. So let's go ahead and press Alt and G. As you can see right now, it has indicated the key that I pressed. Amazing, right? Let's go. So as we proceed with the course, I'm not going to tell you which key I hit each time because screencast is going to show you. It will save us time and allow us to move quickly. Now let's go ahead and place a cylinder into our viewport. Let's make sure that the vertices are all at 26. That's it right there. Let's enable X-Ray. Select the bottom vertices right here and drag them down to a position like this. I will zoom in so you can see precisely what I'm doing. Permit me to choose this section right here and move it up a little bit. Let me insert a loop cut. Drag it up a little further to a point like this and add another loop cut. Then pull it up a little more. Let me select everything and scale them up. Scale here once more. As you can see, we are currently matching the 3D object to our reference image. And it has already begun to take shape. So the next we're gonna do right now is to go to the very top and remove its face. Return to the front view and turn on X-Ray. Let's all click here to loop select and control B to bevel a little bit, making sure that the bevel isn't too big. So what we're gonna do right now is to all click to loop select and drag it up to this point. Now why is this selected? Press E and S and drag to extrude. That's it right there. Now let's model the yogurt cover. Select the spaces in a loop and press Shift D to duplicate them. Also hold down Z to keep them on the Z axis. Return to the front view and match it to the reference image. Let me scroll. That's it right there. Make sure you are in the edge select mode. Once you are there, select the edge and go to the front view. Toggle X-Ray. On the Z-axis, press E to extrude. Let me bring it up to this point. And extrude EZ once more. Also, make sure you scale inwards a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Now, let me press E and Z to extrude downward once again. Mm -hmm. 
so we have built the cover but let's go ahead and polish it so that it looks perfect allow me to click here for a loop selection then press E and S to scale inwards E and S again then press M on the keyboard to fill the gap right now select match at center from the menu right now make sure you are in the front view select these two edges right here by holding down shift toggle x-ray and extrude downwards on the z-axis until it reaches this position which aligns to the reference image there you have it so the next thing we're gonna do right now is to detach the cover from the body I hope you get what I'm saying. This is the body of the container and here is the cover of the container. I will hover my mouse over the cover and press L on the keyboard to select the cover. To detach the cover from the body, press P and choose select from the menu. Switch to the object mode and click cover to select it. It's now selected as you can see. Because the gizmo isn't in position, I will have to center it. The next thing I'm gonna do right now is to insert a modifier. Add the subdivision surface and raise the level to 2. I will return to edit mode and select these two edges you see right here. I will scale them until they look fantastic. It is BE80 full, right? Switch over to object mode. I will shade some more right now. We are now finished with the cover. We may now remove the reference image because it's no longer required. You may delete it if you so desire. Well, let us proceed with our yogurt product creation. So right now we can call this guy cover. And this other guy body. So that's it. Allow me to select the body and apply some loop cut right now. Bevel it. In Blender, by simply scrolling the mouse wheel, you'll be able to decrease and add segments in the bevel mode. Repeat the process here. If you do not include loop cuts, your model will be shapeless after the subdivision surface modifier is applied. So let me go ahead and include that. Check to find out if this nasty guy here is at level 2. Right click on the model and select shed to mode. So that is our model. However, it is not finished since we need to fine tune this bottom section right here. Remove the face in the bottom section. Select these edges and extrude inwards to a certain point. You can eventually fill the hole from here. Let me select this man and move it up a little bit because it's too close. Our model for this section is now complete. We will now move to the next section where I will demonstrate how to model a strawberry.